No, it's class. Again, I think halfway through the year, maybe even slightly past that, I think my um, motivate not motivation has changed, but it's, it's like, I've always, I'm not, I, I don't buy posh things for anyone else. I do it for myself. But ironically, yeah. I don't really spend any money. I'll save up and save up and then buy something anyway. And it got to the point, and there's something that you know, my wife knows, and my mum knows, and nobody else does. And it was a conversation we had, and it was probably about yeah. four or five months ago. And I was basically, I was saying, look, do, do I keep my car? So I had yeah. quite a nice uh, Mercedes. Uh, before that, I had a Porsche Cayman, and I've always enjoyed it. And it wasn't to show off. It was just because as the kid growing up, for me, that was like a massive goal that I was. Yeah. I never thought I'd achieve, and when I did, et cetera. But it's actually, to be a massive pet related myself, Steve, so I get that. I remember our first interview. Um, yeah. But what I was going to say is that, ironically, we still have another car. We have a Kia, which is now what I drive every day. But just yeah. dropping my monthly expenditure, because me and my wife split all the bills, from, say, yeah. 15, 1,600 quid a month to, like, 900. Such a smart move, man. I would have gone bust 100%. <laughs> if I didn't do what you're talking about, I uh, had a real review of my outgoings, I would not have survived this year. No chance. But I think it's almost when... Because when you get to know yourself more, for me, ironically, rightly or wrongly, I I want people to think I'm good. You know what I mean? If reputation's yeah. an, it's an important thing. Probably of course, a, it's like you can't turn up to an engineering company, you know, on a BMX with your udder. You know what I mean? You have to be in business mode, don't yeah. you? Like it's perception, isn't it? You know. But it's that kind of thing. But it it was balanced on when when I considered it under the first lockdown. Then we were kind of set free. And then when I could see that we were probably going to go into lockdown too, my challenge was that I wanted to sell it before we got properly locked down because the number of buyers for really expensive German cars would probably drop off. And likewise, yeah. it's much better to have the money in the bank than it is to have an asset that you can't really do anything with. Um, yeah. But just as a business owner, it was that conscious decision. And ironically, I had beans on toast for lunch. That's just chance. But actually, everything I'm now trying to do is to build the dream and actually, yeah. I'm really proud of that because I, I said the first time we met is that I would prefer to try and fail but do everything I could than yeah. kind of half arse it or yeah, do yeah. things for other nothing, people. Man. Without a doubt, I couldn't agree more on that, yeah. But I guess you said that the... Um, so you almost found the same that actually, so going into business, you really looked at your overheads just to kind of... I really did. Like that, that f before we launched, I was writing the food blog for about a year and I was just literally looking at like anything on my, I was skimming through my um, bank statements and just thinking, right, that's pointless. That's pointless. That stops. And just like the amount of, like, I, I love festivals and music, man. I, I work hard, but I play hard, you know what I mean? But like that, in the last two years, I haven't really done many concerts or many festivals because I've had to make a few sacrifices for the business. And maybe if concert now I realise how much I miss concerts because we can't go to them anymore. So when they come back, I'm going to go on some mad weekends. Like yeah. I'm looking forward, you know. But we just got to make the best of these times, man. Like I, I've never spent so much time with my family, so that's an absolute plus, you know. Uh, class.